Welcome back, IP4, I hope you're doing great, you're staying safe and you're staying home. Today, we are having our lesson number eight together. Um, it's about Photopia again and how to create content. So let's get into it. First, let's practice editing pictures. How can you edit pictures like this? Like can mix different content that have not much to do with each other. Maybe make a big moon, make some balloons, the city, the nature, humans. How can you mix and match? Practice editing pictures such as this, a ice head in the water. Practice editing more pictures, make it black and white. For example, how can you make this picture black and white in Photopea? So now let's open Photopea and just practice editing some pictures, create different content, and edit different pictures. So let's get to the website. When we get to the website, we just, we can open a new project. We can choose the size and the name. Do a four. All right, yeah, a four, a three. Let's do a three, and just open it up. Great. So now let's first create something, a mixture of everything. First, let's just take a picture from Google uh, landscape or yeah, landscape. Just find a similar photo. Let's take this for example. Yeah. Yeah, we can try this. So just take it to our photo P. Maybe we have to save the picture first. Once we save it, we take it here. We can open it. Maybe just open from the computer. Mm -hmm. It's saved already, so I'm going to edit. It's easier to bring it in like this from my desktop. So, this is another way you can see. Now, we can add some interesting things in the sky. So, all we need to do is select the sky. 
can select it by this uh, also. And can basically adjust different things. Hold on. Um, let's get some balloons. And then choose transparent. Save. Here now, make it smaller, and then we can erase. some extra parts. Also, you can try with the selection. See if you can use selection option. So just here, you just click select and you can select those color and then delete it. This might be faster and easier, so you just are selecting them and deleting them. So you go to the magic wand and just click on the color you want to delete and then it automatically selects it and it helps you to delete. And some parts, if it doesn't, you just go back to the eraser tool, you make it very slow, uh, small, And there you go. You can add it just like this. You can make it bigger maybe if you want. Make it a bit bigger. Oh, and you can see some more. But they got not completely erased. So let me erase it. Edges to have a better. Right. All right, I think this is nice. Somewhere here. If, if you want, you can make the opacity less, more. Okay. Now we can make change the color of the picture to be a bit darker or brighter.
can see it becomes a bit more greenish, can become more reddish. So depends on what effect you are looking for to achieve. You can make it a very special scene. Do the same with the balloons too. And give the view saturation to the whole picture. You change the whole color, like background, everything will change to a new style, new futuristic. And also, the color balance to them. Okay. Yeah, so this is one option that you can see. What else we can add to it? You can check out. You can add some skyscrapers maybe to make it more crazy. The futuristic city. So one more time, if you want to erase the background, you can either erase or use the magic wand to select, which here is a bit harder to do because the color is so similar. So you might need to use your selection and just go to it like this, which takes too long if you do like this is too random what i'm doing so i don't suggest you to do like that the best one is the magic wand or go back here and Example, let's say we want this one. Select it, save it. Open it here. Okay. Now what you can do is go back to the this one, select and delete. Select and delete, select and delete, then and we get something like this. And we can add somewhere back there.
Use the erase tool of this. Erase the edges. Okay, so you always can try to mix and match. But this one, you have to make sure that when you are doing it. So these are your layers, don't forget them. I'll bring this layer in front and just erase some of it. So when you move the layers, you can see it comes in front, it goes up on the back. So you can adjust it so it can somehow look like it's hiding behind the behind the Yes, here for the earlier tool. Let's make it smooth a bit. More. some effects on this one too. So you have to go back to color ba balance and change the color of the buildings to match, uh, to match with the picture. So that's something that you can do and edit. And of course, you don't have to add cities or balloons, or it's really up to you how you want to edit your picture. Or for example, let's say we want to take this picture and make it black and white. What you can do is go back here and you can change the brightness, first of all. You can come up here to, to adjustments. You can change it to black and white, just like that. Choose how you want it to be, like how bright or how dark. Do you need it to be just like that? Sion is the blue, the sky blue that you can change. So you can see how, how much do you want it to be black or how much do you want it to be white? So you can make a balance of a black and white picture just like that. So again, you come to the image adjustments, 
And these uh, options and tools help you to adjust the colors and black and white makes it black and white, obviously. And curves, it, you can see it will change the saturation and uh, the darkness and brightness. So do try all the adjustments, practice them and see what the effect is, hue saturation. Hue saturation works mainly when you have color. So let's go back to the color option. Let's go to hue and saturation. So you can see this is the original. This is after hue and hue saturation. It's absolutely different look. You can edit your pictures, how you like them to be, how the color should be. All right, so that's some quick explanation about editing and mixing and matching. Sometimes you can edit yourself, draw yourself. Sometimes you can mix and match from Google, bring it inside your uh, photo view. All right, so for next week, uh, next week, yes. We have some homework for you. So please choose one of the pictures and edit or create a new content. Fix and enhance the picture as you think it is best. Once finished, save it as JPEG or screenshot. So if you're gonna, gonna screenshot, Let's say you finished this and edited this picture. You can take a screenshot and you can upload it to the e-learning platform, okay? So imagine you choose this picture to edit and you edit it and you finish. You upload this picture to the e-learning platform. Uh, either you save it as a JPEG, which I think you should know already. You go to files and you can export as JPEG or save, save as a PD, uh, PSD or export is best. You go to export and save it as a JPEG. But if you don't want to do that, you can take a screenshot and upload the screenshot on the e-learning platform. All right. So the due date is on 13th of January, 2022. And there's no right and wrong. All I need you to do is practice. Um, don't be scared, just you have this picture, you go to images, you can practice using the levels, what happens, see what happens, how, try to adjust what kind do you like? Do you like it to be like this? Do you like it to be like this, like that? Do you like this? Do you want it to be brighter, darker? You can edit or, or as the other one I showed you, be more creative, take a photo, make it red and add some balloons, some, towers really there's nothing wrong or right when you when i want you to do this all i want is just be creative and create your content all right that's all for today guys stay safe take care and happy new year again bye bye